Octave and one third octave band SPL logging is an option available to the SPL graph module in audio tools and to the standalone SPL graph app. Please note the purchase cannot be transferred between these apps. To switch from the standard single point SPL measurement to the octave or one third octave logging mode, bring up the setup page and select the mode that you want to use. Let's try octave logging. To begin logging, tap the record button. Once per graph point, which we have set to one second, the average SPL or LEQ will be computed for each octave band. Also, the overall LEQ is stored unweighted and A and C weighted. Octave SPL averages are shown with the blue bars. These cover the entire test if visible on the screen or whatever subset of the test you may have zoomed in to see. The thin black bars in each octave band show the spectrum for the most recently stored point if the cursor is not visible. You can bring the cursor on the screen to show the spectrum for any point in the measurement. Since all of the octave bands and the three overall measurements are stored separately, you can at any time show a graph for that measurement. Use the control in the lower left hand corner to bring up the selector for the measurement that you would like to see. Now the cursor will show on the bottom in black the level of the octave band and the frequency of that band. On the top in red it will show the SPL level and time for the point selected on the plot. Now let's say you want to pause the test while some other sound occurs. Tap any button on the screen and then tap the pause button. The measurement continues but does not record any data. Then when you tap the record button again, the measurement continues. Note the gap in the graph indicating that no data is stored for that time. When you're ready to end the test, tap any button on the screen other than the plot selector. When the message appears, then select stop. You're now ready to save the test. Tap the save recall icon to bring up the save recall screen. Enter a name for the test and then select store file. Now let's have a look at one third octave band logging. Again, bring up the setup screen and select one third in the octave logging selector. Start the test and now you can see SPL logging is operating in one third octave mode. Now when you bring up the weighting selector, you will see in addition to unweighted A and C, all of the one third octave bands. You can select any of these at any time. Now with the two kilohertz plot selected, you can use a cursor to see exactly when in the test the sounds occurred that caused those two kilohertz bands to be louder. Note that SPL graph is a filter based system and uses filters that meet or exceed the IEC and ANSI standards for type one. Let's look a little more closely at the save and recall system. We're now saving the last test we did, which is a one third octave band test. And next we can recall the octave band test that we did earlier. Now with the octave band curve back on the screen, we can use the cursor and look at all the results that we've saved here. And then we can go back and bring back our third octave room test and have a look at the data in that using the cursor to read out the values. Now we're going to look at the editing function in SPL graph, which uses the destructive backspace icon, the left curly arrow, which is in a red background. Let's say we know that this area right here doesn't really belong as a part of this test and we'd like to remove it. All we need to do is place the cursor over those points and tap the destructive backspace button. The points are then removed from the test. There are the points gone from the graph, but their values are now not included in the LEQ and other L values that have been computed. To save this modified graph, just open the save recall screen and give it a new name and store the graph. You may need to export the stored test, for example, to include the test data in a report. 
SPL Graph saves an XLS tab delimited file automatically. And in the iPad, you can directly open this file in numbers. You could also export it using Wi-Fi to a PC or Mac. You can see that this file includes not only the unweighted A and C weighted LEQs and L max, min, L90, L50, and L10 values, but also these values for every one-third octave band. And if you need it, you can even include the raw data for every point in the graph. And that's our demonstration of octave and one-third octave band SPL logging by Studio 6 Digital.